Ellsworth Air Force Base is continuing to expand with a new weapons generation facility set to start construction in May. Our Adrian Carbajal attended today's groundbreaking ceremony to learn what impact the new facility will have. Monday's groundbreaking ceremony for Ellsworth Air Force Base's new weapons generation facility marked the 13th project currently being done on the base. With all of the expansion taking place in anticipation of the B-21 bombers and their crew members, officials say this facility is much needed. The weapons generation facility will upgrade the munition storage areas and, and it's going to be, first it's going to consolidate operations which will be much more efficient. It has the, it has the latest safety features and security features and so it's much more safe, secure, effective the facility. This project in particular will be completed by more than 100 construction workers during the total time of the project. Many of those workers will be subcontracted through cities like Rapid City and Box Elder, helping to boost the local economy. We do bring in big contracts uh, to, to do work like this, but they're often subcontracting local uh, construction companies as well as you know electrical, plumbing, and all the different areas, things that have to go into these facilities. These are also the same folks that are doing all the construction within you know the Rapid City, Box Elder area as well. Well. Oakley said in 2022, Ellsworth Air Force Base had an economic impact of nearly half a billion dollars in the state of South Dakota, and that the base is looking forward to working with community partners to continue this growth over the next decade. Reporting at Ellsworth Air Force Base, I'm Adrian Carbajal. Officials say the construction will start in May of this year, with the projected completion date being March of 2027.